What's going on everybody? Believe it or not, just two weeks left in the high school football regular season. So of course, just a few players of the week left to get to. Starting with our offensive player of the week, Gatlinburg Pittman QB, Brady Hammonds. Check out this stat line, 398 yards and a new school record, six touchdowns in Friday's win against Northview, 50 to 13, the final on that one. Brady knows it's all about trust as the team now shifts its sights to the playoffs. You know, it feels good. Uh, you know, when you when they have confidence in me, it's going to make me play a lot better. I have confidence in them. You know, we just got to uh, come out with two big wins. Starts out with this week against Scott County and then big rival next week against uh, Pigeon Forge. That will uh, beat Pigeon Forge. We'll get a uh, home playoff game. That will be big for our community. Brady Hughes. The Eagles took care of York Institute 24-7 last week, and Hughes was a key part of a stifling defense that held York to just one touchdown. 12 tackles, one and a half tackles for loss, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. He says he's just thrilled to be in the position he is now. Ever since I was little, I couldn't wait to play high school football, hopefully go on to play in college. Uh, yeah, and I've been waiting for this my whole life. I know I'm young, I'm a sophomore, but I played a little bit last year, and I feel like I can step into that role. Me and my other linebacker, uh, Wyatt West, we just focus on being leaders of the defense, like our coach says. Week 10 on the docket this week. Gatlinburg Pittman travels to Scott County. Gibbs is on the road against Clinton. Back to you. Thanks so much. You can catch all the big high school football highlights on the Blitz. Our 10 sports team will break down the biggest plays and players of the week. You can watch Friday nights at 11 on 10 News.